Listen all. Listen well. Tonight I speak to you the tale. Tale of the Scouring. Long past, world was different. Towers of metal and stone scraped the sky. People roamed free, never hid, never feared. Thousands of us, tens of thousands, not like our tiny tribes. Then came the beasts, from inside one of the rusted places. Hunted us, drove us into the cracks and crevices. Came the beasts on orders, directed by the will of one. The dragon. Was him scoured our world? Scours it still from where he hides. You're our bravest, young one. Smartest. Mm -hmm. Best. Yeah. Once I like this old lady. In the darkest of the rusted places, the great stone wakes, opens the way to the other world. When it does, you will go through. Okay. You will find the dragon. All right. And you will kill it. Sounds easy. Get thrown back out for the deed is done. You might. But you will use that ear. Grow stronger. Wiser. Till the stone wakes again, and you keep going back to your last breath. You keep going back. All right. Till the dragon dies. Man. Or you do. I felt like indoctrination. I'm being brainwashed. Right. Kill the dragon. Easy plot. I love easy plots. Save the world. So, okay. This is uh, Kronos. I thought I'd try and record it, see how it works. I have played this game some. Uh, so for like the first chapter or so, I won't be completely noob. I've actually found quite a few secrets too. Well, I, I'd say a couple secrets. Not too bad. Oh yeah, here's our main character. Um, she has no name, but... She's pretty cool. I like her. She's tough. She's gonna have to be to slay this dragon. So this game's kind of like a uh, a Dark Souls kind of kind of series. It's very similar. Uh, ooh. Yeah, and it mixes a bit of fantasy and uh, realism, kind of like post apoc apocalyptic I've enjoyed it I think it's worth the 40 bucks it's definitely one of the better oculus titles out um, at least until I get my touch controllers in the mouth so yeah you got a block uh, shield slam kind of deal attacks uh, a power attack, yeah, which is very useful. What else? Uh, roll, roll, which is what I'm going to be doing a lot of. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. Uh, you can run. There you go. It's a little drawing every time it changes the camera around. I feel like it's worse in this first area than it is throughout the game, or maybe I just get used to it and every time I start playing the game it takes a bit to get used to. Once you get used to it though, you don't really notice it.
So yeah, quick look around. That's cool. <laughs> so I think we get to see it better over here. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh golly, what happened there? Oh, I know. My soda can's in the way of the uh, camera. There we go. Testing internal system. System test failed. Error code 88. Current user set to admin. No unauthorized access. Access denied. Emergency lockdown is in effect. So we have to do something about that. I think I'm going to be cruising through this first part and just getting back caught up to where I am or where I was. Some dead people. Key. A small key. A locked door. You can tell because it's red. System locked. Oh. Okay, yeah. Press start. There's the key. Very cool. It goes in right there. Uh, testing internal systems. System test failed. Current user set to admin. No unauthorized access. Loading boot menu. So we have a few things. The mainframe access is offline. Uh, we can look at some of the reports. We'll do it real quick. January 3rd, 1968, so quite a while ago. The latest group of candidates seem to be acclimatizing better than the last. Dr. Harsgaard has recommended we keep them in the chairs longer than the al allotted six hours. He wants to study the long-term effects of exposure, exposure on the cerebral cortex. So far, we have gotten very little useful intel from the dreamers. I'm still convinced that what they are seeing is no more than some elaborate hallucination, despite Harsgaard's claims. So they're looking into their dreams or something. This one's corrupted. April 7th, so that's like, what, three months later, somewhere around there? Construction of the new device is proceeding as planned. Ford and his team were able to solve a few of the remaining issues using intel from one of the dreamers. I'm prepping the team to use the device. We have fondly been calling it the DATLA, D-A-T-L-A, Dimensional Aperture uh, Translocation Apparatus. So it's a portal, basically. <laughs> we'll report our findings as soon as the team returns. All right, June 12th. As of today, Ward 17 is in active operation. A new candidate has been selected and placed in the chair. Harsgaard already seems pleased with the readings. He says they are much stronger than anything we have seen thus far. All the other dreamers are on full 24-hour rotations, meaning at this point they never leave the chairs. It was the only way to resolve some of the health issues they were experiencing. Harsgaard continues to monitor them. Captain Ford and his team still haven't returned from their trip to the Datla. I am ordering a halt to all further expeditions until we know what went wrong. Um, that was that one, right? Yeah. June 21st is the last one. I just want to point out how cool it is that I'm looking at a uh, computer screen in the com game. <laughs> it's just, you kind of forget that you can look around. Automated report. Emergency lockdown initiated. So, something went wrong between June 12th and June 21st. Uh, base control. So we have this initiate executive order 13. Don't know what that is. I can't read none of the paperwork around here. Error. Unable to initiate order. Error code 88. So, yeah, there's that error code again. We don't know what's doing that. Disable the lockdown. Got dark. Lockdown disabled. Does that mean I can do it now? 
Nope. Okay. So, we disabled the lockdown. Consequently, turned out some of the lights. And this door is open now. So, back in this room, there's something cool to be seen. Yeah, look at that glass. It's a crazy looking demon dude with an axe. Oh, I'm stuck on the wall. But, more importantly, if you look on the wall there, you see that little uh, gate and the symbols on the wall? That is important for later on. I realized that pretty late while I was playing, but it's a pretty cool little thing we'll get to see later. We can't do anything there right now, though. Restricted area. Key card access only. I do not have a key card. So the door is locked. There's the big crystal thing. The Datla. Very cool. Another key card, but this one's been ripped off the wall. So, not going this way. So this game's got a very Alice in Wonderlands kind of feel. And you'll see that as we go on, but already we're talking about dreamers and people in chairs. Something weird's going on. Also, we saw some crazy looking horn devil thing. Which was the thing the old lady was talk telling us about. Loading boot menu. Alright. Run system diagnostic. Testing umplink. Failed. There's that error code again. Using local pattern buffer. Testing power. Succeeded. Testing datla. Warning. Code 16. Huh. Don't know what that means. All right, initialize the Datla. Warning, uplink failed. Using local pattern buffer. System reset to user mode. Oh, it's a mini one. Here comes one of the things I really like. We're looking through the crystal, and you can see through it. It's like a castle on the other side. Alright, now we're getting to the real meat and potatoes of the game, right? Suddenly a very different place. Some creepy looking statues. Actually pretty cool. Alright. Let's see if I can do this. I might be a bit rusty. There's our first enemy. Yeah. I could just disable those maybe. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Ready? So, my favorite way to tackle these guys is you block, and once they run up and are about to attack you, you shield bash them and then just murder the heck out of them. Pretty simple. 
There's another one over here. There he is. So, shield bash, murder him. Simple. Have you heard the wailing at night? I think the Cyclops grieves more for the loss than the king himself. Woe to us when grief turns to rage. All right. It's actually very tell telling right there. The Cyclops grieves. The king should be grieving, but he's not. The Cyclops might get mad. All right. Crystal Heart, this is basically a potion. It can only be used once. Um, and then it becomes inert. And once you die and revive, which we'll probably see eventually, it refills and then you can use it again. So it's a one time heal. Oh, get ready. Shield Bash! Murder. Cool. Through the door. I get a close look at her. She actually looks at you too. Look, she's like. <laughs> huh. All right. Another note: the king has decreed the temple off limits. Stop all work immediately. No exceptions. Sorrow. Was there nothing else on here? Guess not. Alright. So this guy, these guys are pretty dangerous. So the best thing to do against them is you run up on them. You want to close the distance quick. Once you're close enough, they'll go into this melee mode and they'll attack. They'll swing down and then up. Oh god, I missed. I got him. So, yeah, it was hard. Ooh, look. I got my first dragon stone. These are used to upgrade weapons. Anyway. Um, yeah, it was kind of hard to explain while it was going on. But basically, he'll attack. He'll do like a down swing. And then he'll use his, uh, or, you know, he'll attack with his torch. Then he'll use his uh, little blunder bus there. And he'll attack down with it. And then he'll attack back up with it. And at that point, he's open. And all you really have to do is back up a bit, charge up a big swing, and hit him afterwards. So, pretty simple strategy. You gotta close the distance quick, though, or else he'll shoot at you. You can block some of the damage from his shots, but it's really bad. So you want to get pretty close to him so that he switches to melee. Melee. Okay, let's teach you how to lock on. Left trigger, here comes first dude. These guys are pretty simple, just shield bash. Kill. Next one. Yeah, works every time, as long as you time it, right? All right, so here, I just know this one from prior experience. There's a guy hiding behind these boxes over here. If you lock on, you can tell that she'll kind of lock on to where he is. Which is one way to see people <laughs> that you can't see. Okay, I leveled up. Let's do that real quick. Uh, leveling up in this game is a bit unusual. So, my character's age right now is 18, and basically every time I die, she'll advance one year. Um, early in the game, your physical attributes, strength, agility, and vitality, are cheap. They only cost one. So, I think it's a good idea to just level these up first. And then, later on in the game, Arcane becomes uh, less expensive. So, it's really expensive early, when you're young and dumb, as you get older can learn this much better and of course as you get really old you can't learn any more these physical abilities so it's good to get them while you're young I'm gonna go for vitality first 
Um, this gives me extra defense and it gives me 20 points of health for every one point I put into it. So basically every level I'm getting an extra 40 health to help me survive the early game. That's my strategy. big fire pit and a guy on the staircase know how to kill these guys pretty well wow he's not even paying attention to me I want him to charge at me I could run up and probably kill him but if I screwed it up he might get the jump on me and once you get like comboed or something it's pretty bad you lose a lot of health not a good thing All right, there's another guy over here on the staircase you can see him so I can draw him out if he turns around and sees me and I'll fight him back over here where it's easy okay, it's pretty hard to actually fight downstairs <laughs> luckily it didn't matter so this gate right here basically leads that's where we come in at the beginning and there's that ladder right here and this is just like if I died, it'd be easy and climb this ladder, go back to the door, which was barred from the other side. That's pretty much all that is. A shortcut. Alright, so without moving, this is a good part. This game's using the Oculus really well, because a lot of times like Especially early players when they're using the Oculus, they don't realize that you can look around and it's really important. So if I look to my right, there he is, the eyes in the darkness. It's pretty cool, I like that. But yeah, if you look around, you can get a lot of hints about what's coming up. You can see other parts of the stage and stuff. So I'm gonna just go in close and draw him out. This is a hard one because I can't look at him and look at my character at the same time. That's another unique thing. So I'm just gonna keep going forward until he charges me and get ready to shield bash him. Yeah. And yes, it's very dark over here, like impossible to see. Later on, you can get something that can light up the area, and there's nothing over here I've checked before. Besides that guy. Alright, so. Turn off the heater. Here he comes. Bat oh, I screwed that one up. So, oh wow. I screwed it up really bad. Took four hits. So, yeah, I was just a bit too slow on the shield bash there. I lost a bit of health. 463 now. So, that did almost 100 damage. 80. Or 77 to be specific. Um, yeah. So, and that health does not come back. I got one potion. Keep that in mind. The potion heals all my health. So I'm going to save it until I'm more injured. So another one of these blunderbuss dudes, all i got to do is close the distance on them to get them to swap to uh, melee. There we go. And then he's going to attack. Watch. Here we go. Swing. Here we go. Down. Back up. All I have to do is prepare my strong attack to counter his. Yeah, he gives me a good opening there to do it. Alright, there's people on the other side of this door here that I can draw into this room. Yeah, see them right there. I could fight them in here, but there's two, three of them. So I really want to just draw them back into here. I'm kind of curious about this. Right there, I didn't shield bash him, I just blocked it. Did I lose any health? I did not. So that's another strategy you can do. You could just block and wait until he attacks you and then attack him. I guess that's pretty smart too. <laughs> right, so there's that guy and there's that guy. Hmm. I really wish... 
Alright, that'll work. We'll just draw him in closer. There we go. He'll come over here and check us out. Fighting in the doorway is not going to be easy. But all I have to do is drag him down the stairs a bit. And it's actually better that he's got the high ground on me. Oh god, there comes the other one. Okay. I took a bit of damage there because the other one jumped on me. I basically had to uh, get this one to back off if I could, but if you attack him too soon, he'll back up while swinging, which is what he did there. And it's actually very hard to hit him. That's why you got to invite an attack. If you actually go to him and attack him like aggressively, he'll back up and you'll miss most of your attacks. Anyway, we got another level. We lost a little more health, like 32 there. We're going to get an extra 40 from this, so that level we got. And leveling up does give you that 40 health immediately. So we're at 471. So it's like a miniature hill early in the game. So if I look through the window here, you can see there's an enemy over here. You can hear him walking around, or at least I can. There he is. But I'm going to go through this door first. I've got a chest. This box is adorned with intricate imagery of dragons. A container of this craftsmanship must contain something of value or power. You know, I think these little chests are kind of weird. I don't know if there's a reason to save them. Because if you activate them, all you get from inside of it is one of these dragon stones. It seems kind of weird to me, or dragon shard, that it just doesn't give you a dragon shard. Instead, it gives it into this container, you know. So, I don't know if there's a reason to save a container or not. Take this as payment for my debts. I have little use for it, and with the king's latest madness, forfeiting all shards to the crown, it has become more of a liability than a boon. So the king is interested in these shards. And he's might be a bit mad. Is this guy? So this guy is very easy. Don't attack him. Just wait till he attacks and back up. Oh, wow, he takes a lot of hits, though. So. Oh god, he's blocking. That was too slow on that one. As I level up, I'll start getting more and more damage. Right now, I'm putting it all in the health. That's why a lot of these enemies are going to take a lot of hits. That's something I have to get used to. Um, yeah, that guy, very simple. He does very sweeping attack. You just back up and then charge up your attack and hit him. Very similar to the blunderbuss kind of dude, except for he just does one. He's actually easier. There's this dude right here. If I can drag him without getting the other one. Negative. Alright, run away. I just don't want that one shooting me while I take this guy out. Oh wow, he just ignored me. He actually stopped. He didn't, wasn't going to follow me this far. That's fine. So all I got to do is close the distance on him. There we go. He'll start swimming crazy. Easy. our first non-hostile creature. <laughs> I know not of your kind, stranger. Dark days these are. Not the best of times to wander so far from one's homeland. What brings an outsider to these forsaken halls? I've come to kill the dragon. Destroy the dragon. Tis a fool's errand. Especially in the wake of the woeful encounter between the king and the Cyclops, you may as well throw yourself upon your blade 
All right, so definitely some hostility between the king and the Cyclops that we've learned about. Who is the Cyclops? Our guardian, or so he was, till the king betrayed him. Now the Cyclops just sits and broods and plots revenge. He cares not for the crow anymore. Well, he's abandoned his people. The Cyclops is upset about this betrayal. What happened? Too long a tale to tell. Suffice to say, the Cyclops wanted to marry the king's fairest daughter. But instead, thanks to the king, the daughter died. Oh. Now the king has gone mad, hides his face from the world. Goodbye. Listen here, pale skin. Those blasphemous priests took my most valuable piece and used it to build a false cyclops. Sheerest idolatry. But the vile, cursed golem they created is too powerful for me to challenge. Although, if you were to retrieve the golem's eye for me, I would use it to forge a weapon. A weapon I would give to you freely. All right. There you go. So, a little bit of the lore there. Uh, we gotta slay a false cyclops and return its eye here, and he'll make us a weapon. But all right, that's the first episode. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Later.